Hello. So this is actually a continuation of another problem that we did, even though it kind of stands alone by itself. Um, but I'm going to use some answers that I saw for earlier, uh, which are right here. And it's also based on the given from the previous example as well. So uh, if you're just here, we're solving for a, a, a problem that involves an AC circuit that has a resistor, inductor, and a capacitor. Now, in retrospect, I should have taken this entire thing and moved it uh, that way, but I'll just work around this. Uh, once again, I'm going to just highlight the given or underline it really. Okay. Perfectionist in me. Okay. And we're going to solve for the average power. Now, in order to do the average power, we're also going to need a, a, a new formula, okay, which I will actually write down now. Okay, we're going to need uh, the formula for the RMS current is really I max square root of two and um, I'm just gonna write it here. RMS voltage, which is the root mean square of the waveform, because remember this is a AC circuit. And this is a new formula. For average power. If we're talking about the average power, it has to be based on the RMS current and the RMS voltage, but there's more. It's also based on the phase angle. As a matter of, well, that's, nope, it doesn't work like that. It's right over it. That's how important it is. So we're going to actually need the phase angle, which we saw for earlier, which was. Okay, and we're also going to need the value of the current that we had earlier, which is less than one, about a quarter, almost a quarter of an amp. Okay, we'll need that with the entire given. These are the formulas that we'll need. Um, and then after that, it becomes pretty relatively easy. Okay, let's go ahead and try it out. Now it's important to note that we're using uh, a formula for power that um, since we're dealing with a waveform of a current and uh, input signal really, that it's also uh, kind of like an RMS power as well, but it's average power delivered. Uh, okay, so this is square root of two and that should still give me something less than that. Square root of 2 is about 1.41 dot dot dot. And the same thing for the max. Okay, so this was 150 volts divided by square root of 2, so I should get something that's smaller than 150, and sure enough it's on a 6 volts. Cool. So formula for the average power. Let's write the entire formula again. Oops, it's not the dollar sign. Okay, and then just plugging it in. And this is the clincher. Okay, and once you have all of that in, uh, it should get the units of joules per second or in terms of watts. And from here, the cosine of the angle would also give you something uh, relatively smaller than you would expect. It also affects the waveform entirely, or the average power in this case. And you get an answer that only eight 
watts is being delivered here. Okay. Um, kind of makes sense. It's like a small voltage, like a typical input of the uh, United States or um, American circuits, power grid, relatively small current. And so the power wattage is like a, almost like a, a very small light bulb. Okay, I hope you're able to view this in context with a previous problem, this one, and that you learned something on the average power in an RLC circuit using an AC source. Okay, enjoy. Bye.